Hey everybody, welcome to today's date. Don't know what it is. Anyways, today we'll be talking about Batman Killing Joke, the movie review. So, Batman the Killing Joke was a movie I seen when it first came out the first week or two. I think within the first week. And, not gonna lie, it made me mad at a certain point. But then, actually watching the whole movie through, like the whole thing, I understand a certain like part of the movie now from Batman Arkham Knight. Which is, if you don't know, it's a game that came out on the PS4, PC, and Xbox One about a year ago. And I just, like, straight up did not know that, oh my god, you know, this was, like, tell me more information about this, this flashback in Arkham Knight. Which I'm not, you know, the biggest fan of Batman, but I'm trying to be. I'm actually really wanting to know his, you know, entire backstory, but I'm not going to go into the comics and all that. It's just fucking, like, woof, crazy. Um, so, about the movie itself, I actually really do enjoy it. There was some parts of him, like, the animation was kind of, like, uh, to me. Uh, Joker looked kind of straight up anime, but it felt like it was kind of like two movies in one kind of thing. I felt like one part of the movie was about Batgirl and only about Barbara, right? Only about her. And it feels like it was only about her struggle of being a teenager and how, I guess, no lie, I guess, Batgirl, Barbara, have sex with with <coughs> Bruce Wayne, Batman, at some point because they're having an argument about she's not ready to do something yet, which I totally forgot now. And it's like, what the fuck? Like, this is a thing now? Like, like really? <laughs> I did say before in the past in a vlog that it's supposed to be rated M for... What is it? No, I did R for, you know, something. And that is the reason, I guess. Other than it was kind of brutal and violent in a way, not gonna lie. But... I wasn't expecting that. No way I was expecting that. Sorry for spoiler. That was like the biggest thing for me. And then like after the whole Barbara like episode thing with Batman, like like I love you kind of thing, but you're my first teacher, whatever, and I hate you at the same time kind of thing, situation. Whatever, teenage drama. Um, at some point after that, the second part of the movie kind of happens <laughs> that it's like all about the Joker now. You know, it's supposed to be about the Joker anyways, called Killing Joke, you know? It really wasn't about the Joker until the later half of the movie. The first half was just a part about Batgirl. Like, straight up, it was called Batgirl. Like, like it, it could have been, not called, it, it was all about Batgirl. It could have been called Batman, Killing Joke, and Batgirl. <laughs> or something, I don't know. Or something, I don't know. It, it was exactly like that. But what did I think about the movie? It was... Not shocking, but it was surprising to me on the way they did it. Because I just wasn't expecting that, for sure, that part. And I think another part when they kind of made uh, Joker look kind of like like a devil, in a way. Like, there was a point that I was like, oh my god, that's pretty insane. But, yeah, I also think it's the Joker. So, it kind of makes sense regardlessly. So, anyways. Uh, what did I think of the movie in general? I liked it. I was confused at a point of it. <laughs> but... It made sense to me in the in the Batman video game universe, even though it might be literally just the universe of the whole DC comic or the new Fifty Two or whatever it is, really. But it made sense to me, and for me, understanding if all that uh, backstory and information prior from playing all the Arkham games besides Origins, it makes sense. So I want to say it's a good movie in a way. Not I wouldn't say it's better than. The last few movies, as in, you know, uh, Red Hood, I wouldn't say it's clear. It's not even close to that. I don't think it was that great of a movie from Red Hood. Red Hood was the best one, in my personal opinion. I seen Bun uh, Son of Batman and and Batman and Robin. Or actually, yeah, I've seen Batman and Robin. But, and then even the one before that, which I totally forget what it is right now. But I seen them, and they're better than The Killing Joke. Because The Killing Joke, it was good, but it wasn't that great. I might give it like a 6 or a 7 out of 10. It was good for a Batman movie-ish, sort of, but not the greatest. Anyways, uh, besides that, sorry. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about really quick is that, um, <clears throat> uh, let's see here. Ah, uh, Pokemon, they announced a new Pokemon in Pokemon Sun and Moon, which is not really new. I mean, now it's kind of old. Uh, Pokemon Tor, Tortanator, I think. Tortana? That sounds like Tantor from, like, Tarzan. I don't know. Tortanator, whatever you pronounce that Pokemon's name. So, Tortanator, if you don't know, he's a turtle Pokemon that has fire. 
from his back, and it just if you touch his back, it explodes. Like, that's interesting. I, I just learned something like that. But it looks good, but it's interesting. That's all I'm gonna really say about it. So, uh, I'm I'm actually playing Sun and Moon right now. Currently, no lie. Uh, but I haven't got to the point. Yet. I haven't really played Sun and Moon as much, and I know a lot of people probably beat the game already, but I'm not even close to it. Anyway, everybody, uh, that's gonna be it for today. So, uh, Pokemon Tantor Tour whatever announced, and Batman Killing Joke review. So, once again, we thank you for watching. See you all tomorrow. Okay, bye bye.